square root of x plus x equals to 12. We have to find the value for x. Let's try. So there are two methods that we can use to find the value. Let's try the method 1. So let's subtract x to both the side. So this x and x gets cancelled. Now we have square root of x equals to 12 minus x squaring both the sides. So square root of x square equals to 12 minus x whole square. We can remove the square root with the square. Now it is x equals to this is in the form of a minus b whole square and we can expand it as a square minus 2ab plus b square. So this will be 12 square minus 2 times 12 times x plus x square or we send x to the right hand side then it is 144 minus 24x minus x plus x square equals to 0 we can write let's rearrange it and write x square minus 24x minus x is minus 25x plus 144 equals to 0 now this is a quadratic equation where we can find the roots for x using the formula minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac under square root upon 2a where a is the coefficient of x square that is 1 b here is coefficient of x that is minus 25 and c here is 144 so x equals to minus minus 25 plus minus minus 25 square minus 4 times 1 times 144 under square root upon 2 or x equals to minus minus plus so 25 plus minus minus 25 square will be positive 625 because minus is inside the bracket minus 144 times 4 is 576 upon 2 or x equals to 25 plus minus 49 under square root upon 2 or x equals to 25 plus minus square root of 49 is 7 upon 2 so now two values for x are when x is 25 plus 7 upon 2 then it is equal to 32 upon 2 or 16 when x is 25 minus 7 upon 2 so 18 upon 2 or equals to 9 so two values for x are 16 and 9 let's verify the answer when we take x equals to 16 then we have square root of 16 plus 16 this should be equal to 12 square root of 16 is 4 plus 16 so this is not equal to 12 so x cannot be 16 now when we take x equals to 9 then square root of 9 plus 3 this should be equal to 12 square root of sorry here it is 9 square root of 9 is 3 3 plus 9 equals to 12 that means the only solution for x is x equals to 9 why did this happen why there is only one solution for x let's try the method 2 and understand this we know square root of a number let's say x it is either greater than or equal to 0 it cannot be less than 0 so it cannot be a negative number now let us consider x under square root equals to m question is square root of x plus x equals to 12 if square root of x is m then x is m square because when we square it square root gets removed with the square so x equals to m square so we write m square for x equals to 12 now let's rearrange it m square plus m minus 12 equals to 0 now this is a quadratic equation again here we can factorize it 
using hit and trial method we have to find two numbers a and b whose product is equal to minus 12 and whose sum or difference should be equal to m so m square plus 4m minus 3m equals to m minus 12 equals to 0 or m common m plus 4 minus 3 m plus 4 equals to 0 now m plus 4 is the common factor so we write m plus 4 remaining factors are m minus 3 equals to 0 now when a times b equals to 0 then either a equals to 0 or b equals to 0 that means when m plus 4 equals to 0 then m equals to minus 4 when m minus 3 equals to 0 then m equals to 3 now we know that square root cannot be a negative number so square root of m that means square root of x cannot be minus 4 now we have m equals to 3 that means square root of x equals to 3 so we square both the sides so we remove the square root with this square so x equals to 9 now you see the only solution for x is x equals to 9 because square root cannot be negative 4 how did you solve it let me know in the comment section thanks for watching